Hello everyone, Noshad here. In this tutorial, we'll see how to integrate push notification within a Xamarin Forms application. To begin with, we need to download two files for the push notification. So go on your console, select the project you want to add to your Xamarin Forms application. From the project settings, click on the Android application. Make sure it's the right application you are selecting and then download the google service.json file and same for the ios just download the google service info.plist file so once that done we need to create a new project so we will create a new project called xf push sample then we need to add new get package plugin dot firebase push notification by randy del rosario we need to add this package in all our projects next thing we need to add the google service to json file to our android project so we add existing file and select the downloaded file from our local directory and copy into our project and then we need to change the build action to Google service.json. Uh, if you're doing it for the first time, you might not see the option. So we need to individually add one more NuGet package to have that option available. So we need to add the NuGet package somewhere in Google Play service.base. And once we add that particular package, that gives us the option for changing the build action to Google service.json. The next thing we add the file for the iOS. The same again, we select the Google service info.plist file and change the build action to bundle resource. The next thing we need to add few permission on our Android manifest.saml file. So we need to add the user's internet permission. Before doing that, let us look into the page where we'd be mostly copying the code from. In this page, it shows us how to use this NuGet package for the push notification. Uh, also, the system requirements, make sure the iOS and Android version is greater than 8 and 15. So I'll provide a link of this page in the description. If we scroll down and click on getting started, in this page it shows us how to use this NuGet package step by step so for starting with Android we need to copy this line of code for granting users internet permission and paste it within our Android manifest.saml file and we have already added the Google service.json file in our Android project and we need to add one more class for initializing the notification channel so let's create a new class main application.cs and copy this block of code and paste it within. Let's also bring in all the namespaces. So here Inside the onCreate method, we are setting the default notification channel if the OS version is greater than Oreo. And also, if we are in debug mode, we want to reset the device token every time we run this code. We could also handle the notification when the app is in closed. Finally, let's copy this line of code and inside the main activity.cs. After loading the application, paste it and bring in the namespace so this is done for android let's look at the ios configuration we have already added the google service info plist file and changed it build action to bundle resource and inside info.plist we need to add firebase app delegate proxy enabled Also, from the application, we need to enable the background modes and enable the remote notifications. 
Also for the bundle identifier, we go on our Firebase console and make sure the identifier matches with our selected apps bundle ID. So we could copy and paste it within the project from the Firebase console. Next, we need to initialize Firebase Push Notification Manager inside AppDelegate.cs. So after loading the application, we'll paste this line of code and bring in the namespace plugin.firebase push notification. We also need to override few methods to make following calls. So we need to copy this methods and paste it so let's look how we could use this code from our shared project so if we click on our shared project within app.zaml.cs we need to paste in this block of code and bring in the namespace plugin.firebase push notification So here we have three event handlers on token refresh, on notification received, and on notification opened. Uh, we forgot to add the package name for our Android project, so we need to change this to our Firebase console's package name. So we could copy and paste it in our Android manifest.xaml file and save it. So this is done. If we run the code now and see if it works. So we are having an exception. Let's rebuild the code and that should fix the problem. So the app is running now. Let's check our application output. And you could see the token has been generated. So I'll copy this uh, token and try to send a push notification from our console so we have got to go to the cloud messaging and send text message paste the token and select the app we want to send notification to i'll add a data message as well so for key we add message and the value is hello world and publish this notification let's check our application output so you could see we have received this notification let's check our notification tray on our emulator we don't seem to see any notification on this simulator so you might bump into this issue so i'll run this same code on a different emulator and check our application output and try to send a notification on the new device so everything else remains the same, we just change the device token and publish the app notification. Check our application output. You could see the notification has been received on our system with diagnostics. And we still don't see any notification yet. So if you face this problem, just close your app and try to resend the notification. And now we could see the notification has been received on the notification tray. So both of them has arrived now. So if we click on one of the notification and check our application output, We could see the lock for opening the notification has been triggered.
So you could do anything based on your scenario, how you want to handle this notification. You could display it on an individual notification page. It's up, really up to you. So let's look at few of the issues you might come across using this new get package. The top one is the simple solution does not show the notification. Notification not received when the app is closed. We don't receive any notification on iOS. So the, for the top one, it was my emulator. Try running the code on actual device, it works. And for iOS, we need to have a certificate for app Apple push notification gateway service. So you need a developer account and create a certificate. And this is when the Firebase console will be able to send notification on behalf of Apple. And one more thing, uh, this particular provider has got almost two identical NuGet packages. So it's Firebase push notification plugin and push notification plugin. I don't know what are the difference. We have used the top one, Firebase push notification plugin. If you want to use the other one, you could. Uh, it's almost the same code and the process is same. And it's very easy to follow the code. So that was it for this tutorial. If you have liked it, make sure you like, share and subscribe. And I should see you in my next tutorial. Thank you.